Hello everyone, this is Luke, and you're watching OPK Gaming. This is episode 8 of our Minecraft Minecraft Let's Play. And where we left off, of course, we had our quarry, and we had our pipes running over to the quarry. And we also had our new diamond farm. Well, actually, more pumpkin farms, but whatever, same thing. Because they do produce pumpkins in the long run. I mean, they produce diamonds in the long run. As you can see, we got 3,000 EMC from just those pumpkins. And of course, we're just going to steal that EMC. Um, almost all this EMC is from pumpkins, if not all of it. And yeah, I can make diamonds, I can make... Oops, oh, I did not mean to... Do, oh, bad, bad. Oh, okay. Well, now what we can do is make Eternus Fuel, we can make whatever we want. We can make Dark Matter. It's it just... It's, the possibilities are endless. But what we need to do now is actually start working on my amazing little contraption that actually started over here, but I think I stopped because I got really annoyed at all the creepers exploding and crap over there. It's so actually, I need stuff to help stop the creepers. <laughs> Let's get these real quick. Do, 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 wherever I put. Okay, so we're gonna just grab all this cob and stone right here, and we're gonna run over here. Okay, so before I even make, I mean, before I even get started with that, we're gonna have to make some of these cool little things. They're the basically the equivalent of the transport pipes, but they're for uh, red power. So the pneumatic tubes require, t I believe it's two brass ingots, which can only be made with, I think it's copper. Yeah, I know it's copper. So it's copper plus tin. And I'm pretty sure it's a one, is it a one? No, it's a one, one tin to three copper. So basically that's pretty expensive. Well, actually, sorry, expensive. No, that's a kind of a bad ratio. But luckily, copper is a lot more common in the world than tin, so honestly, it's not too bad that you have to complain about it. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what I mean. I'm going to throw this in here. See, it's actually being wasted. And as you see, it, it doesn't actually matter what the pattern is. It just has to be three copper plus one tin. You can have them stacked. You can have them in completely different areas, and it will create brass. So let's go ahead and make just one more thing of pneumatic tubes. There we go. So we're gonna run back over here. I'm gonna show you guys my plan. Okay, so here is the plan. I'm gonna have over here the timer, which is not in my inventory, oops. So let's get out the timer real quick. And I'm gonna place it probably right here. Yeah, I don't see why not, oops, probably not there. I'd say a better place would probably be right here. And what I'm gonna do is have an actually an emergency, I was just thinking of the word, we're gonna have to have an emergency to turn off switch. So that means we're gonna have to have one switch, which of course I always flip that around. See, just like that, turns it off. And what we're gonna have to do is cable that all the way along here. And we're gonna have to have these pneumatic tubes that go all along under. And what I think I'm gonna have to do with these pneumatic tubes is hook them up to a equivalent exchange chest, which then will be powered, no, sorry. I'm not exactly sure what equivalent exchange thing I want to put it in. I'm not sure if I want to put it into the energy, the, oh, I always forget what it's called. How do I always forget what it's called? Well, I was thinking, I'm not exactly sure if the gem of eternal density even works. I really have no idea. So I'm gonna make some chests real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have here both an alchemical chest and an antimatter relay, because I want to see what the best choice is. So as you can see here, if I throw this gem of turn density in, it doesn't change cobblestone. I actually, I have to throw in some redstone in to help get it started. Watch, if I throw in just a piece of redstone, it then gets it to iron ingots. However, of course, getting that redstone there in the first place would mean I'd have to pump it in separately. So I'm going to try powering this and hope for the best. And I set it to a long cycle so it doesn't over, you know, overgo everything. And see, it's just flowing in, not too fast. We're gonna throw in a piece of redstone and hope for the best. And I don't know, wait, how, how in the world did it just get dirt? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, see, so you have to put in a certain amount of cobblestone before it'll, it'll do anything. Yeah, where did that come? Where did that dirt come from? Huh. Interesting. Okay. So it's working fine right now. No worries. Actually, probably should... Oh. Oh. What? I don't even know why I have that guy there. 
Okay, that's interesting. Weird. Well, that's kind of unusual, but I had some water there for some reason. And I'm happy that this does, in fact, work. It does seem to be working well. However, of course, the problem is... Let's get rid of that sucker real quick. Why does it take... Wait. Oh, stupid. Okay, well, it, for some reason, it's switching to my... Okay, well, that seems to work fine. So let's run over here, and I want to show you guys... See, it just piles in here. It doesn't change and... Uh, I'm confused as to what's supposed to happen. I, I don't know exactly what this is doing, but it appears that it requires redstone to even... Oh. Yeah, I, I think the gem holds energy to a certain extent. I don't know how it works exactly, so I'm going to have to do some research real quick. Okay, so I've discovered the problem. It actually requires four sacks of cobblestone to turn into one... I believe it's one iron ingots before you... Yeah, see, it'll eat it all, and then... Wow, that's pretty awesome. Did you guys see that? It turned all the iron and all the cobble into one gold ingot. Oh my gosh, that is... Wow, so basically, this is not near as profitable as it was when I originally had it. Because I'm pretty sure... So cobble is now only worth one EMC. Which means... And iron is 256, if I'm not... Yeah, I'm 256. So I think it's going to need four full stacks before it can even do turn into one iron. See, and then bam, just one iron, just like that. That is insanely expensive. This, I mean, to make a profitable one of these, I'm going to have to make a huge diamond generator. Because unfortunately, they, I guess they didn't want us to make diamond generators anymore. <laughs> I, I miss my old diamond generator that was so amazing and was so fast and uh well unfortunately that the time of that di diamond generator is now over well hey i made a diamond generator it works it just takes absolutely forever to get all the resources for it and it probably requires a huge farm to do it however i will make a huge farm mostly because i love you guys and i just want to make a whole bunch of resources because i'm really really cheap so what we're going to do now is, and actually, I'm going to set a, over on that pipe over there, I'm going to set an advanced wooden, advanced wooden pipe, sorry, so that it will pump out only diamonds to uh, prevent it from pumping out other things. And let's go take a nap real quick, seeing how it's, and I swear, if it sells, okay, good, Whew, if it told me it's not night, I would be so mad. Okay, so now, the plan to expand that machine, which of course means I'm going to have to make some block breakers. I don't think... No, I can't make block breakers. Uh, well, luckily block breakers aren't too expensive. I mean, they're expensive, just not... Okay, so, yeah, cobble, cobble, piston, pit iron, yeah. Not too bad. It just takes a lot of space and resources and time. Because, look at that, you have to get... all. Well, for one, you have to get all this lava, you have to get all these pickaxes. I, I guess it costs... For the ratio of cost to use, it's not too great, I have to say. It's It used to be very, very profitable. Remember in my Minecraft Season 1 Let's Play with 1.0? That was amazing, I loved it. But now it's just, eh, it's not... I, I swear the pumpkins are probably more profitable now. Oh, Dawn, I miss the good old days. Well, hey, good news is that, of course, you can always just expand it and get more resources from it and... Yeah, so I think the expandable part is probably the best thing about it. So we're going to get rid of all these things. And I love how it automatically switches to the right tool for the job. Pretty awesome. I forget what mod this is called. Oh, darn it. Well, if you guys know what mod this is, please remind me because I totally spaced it. And we're going to get three more spaces. There we go. Nice. See, I love how I can just have my fist out. And then I can just start mining the area. So actually, I think I need to plug up this area to prevent lava spilling. Do do do, lava. And okay, wait, one more. There we go. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to put lava all along here, which means of course I'm going to have to get a lot more lava because I don't have too much left. And yeah, that's the whole plan. 
Okay, so as you can see, this contraption is nice and set up now. It's not as long as I had it before in my previous version of Minecraft, but it is just as laggy and it is working perfectly fine. I need to make sure there's nothing dropping on the ground over here. Because for some reason before there was, I'm guessing there has to be something, a block here stopping the blocks from falling out. And yeah, so basically they all just pile into here and after they get a f four full stacks, it turns into one piece of iron. And then after you get, I believe it's eight iron, turns into one gold and then four gold into one diamond. It is so expensive. And right here, I set up a little contraption where it filters only diamonds in. So basically it'll just pump in a diamond over here into the item transport pipe, which is connected to frequency two, which goes all the way to my base. And I set it all the way. So yeah, I've, I've set it pretty far away and actually it's hardly noticeable from where, my angle, but I set it all the way over there, partially because I don't want it to be near in case it explodes. And also because it just, I hate the sound of it and the lag, because it does cause some lag, especially when I'm recording. Yeah, it just, when I, the further I get away get from it, uh, further away I get from it, the smoother it is for me. And as you can see, we're actually starting to get some items pumped into here. Actually, I don't even need this pipe right here, frequency three. I think what I'm going to do is just change this frequency over here. Oh, I hate how I'm always out of food. Let's eat real quick. Okay. So this one, I think I'm just going to change it to frequency 2. So now it'll just go all the way into here. And I don't have to use this pipe unnecessarily. There we go. So now everything pumps into here, no matter what it is. And all, I mean, just look at all of those pumpkins. Mwahaha. This is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at 35,000 EMC. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. One unfortunate thing that I do have to note is, unfortunately, of course, those machines eventually do run out of coal, and one of them did. So yeah, I'm gonna have to give a key. Uh, I'm gonna have to keep watching over them to make sure they don't run out of coal too quickly. And where the heck is my? Oh, there it is. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now is actually target some coal, and you see, just two pieces of redstone makes one coal. And I'm just gonna make two full stacks. And what I'm going to do with these stacks, of course, I can pick that piece up, is run over here and power these machines for as long as they can go for. I Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is now completely empty. Unfortunately, yeah, it's, it's fully empty. Oh, darn it. Oh, there you go. Found some more lag. I, I'm pretty sure it has to do with these machines because I don't lag any other time. So we're just going to throw in this full stack right there. There we go. Nice. And basically, I'm just, I'm set now. And we can go into more advanced machines very, very soon. Unlike season one, which took a full, what was it, a full year of, no, not a full year. I mean, probably like a couple months of recording and uploading and stuff like that to get to where I am. Well, this has taken a mere couple weeks and I'm already all the way, I'm just, I'm going pretty beast, I have to say, if I say so myself. And there we go, nice, oh, looks like I missed two. Basically, I am just golden. And my next priority is getting, oh, see, it's, I'm pretty dang sure it's these machines. I don't know why these machines cause lag, but they do, which is unfortunate. Wait, I just realized why I should put the, there we go. I throw one into here, so, oh, dang it, oh, I screwed that up, oh, bugger. Okay, so let's throw these down real quick. Okay, problem solved. And let's hope that I have some fertilizer. No, I do not. Okay, whatever. I'll just leave, deal with that later. There we go. That's nice and powered. And yeah, nice. This thing is set up to go for another couple hours. Is it hours? No, I think it'd just be one hour. And this quarry, as you can see, oh, well, when it's not lagging, it's digging pretty quickly, actually. And I'm pretty sure it's just going to get rid of all the ice, because unfortunately the ice is forming as it's mining, so it has to go from here to there to there to there to... It's just... Yeah, it's a pain. And this over here is not ice, only because it's not... Well, it's not the snow biome. So what I think I may do is either... Well, I'm not going to move the quarry yet, but I think I may make another quarry probably right over here, and another one, say, right over here, and another one probably right over here. 
I mean, I can make as many cores as I want and just get as many resources as I absolutely can. This has to be the most amazing world. I mean, it's not the most amazing world because I'm lacking in some things, but in, overall, it is pretty beast. Sorry, I'm a little, like, snuffy. I don't know why. Yes, you can't... I wish you could just change... Oh, change that to cactus. Ugh, darn it. I don't know how what you can change to cactus, but if you guys know, please tell me. And, yeah, that's... That's just about it, what I have for now. I'm gonna go find something to do. And, actually, no, let's go find something to do. So, unfortunately, of course, looking up industrial craft stuff causes me to crash. I mean, clicking on it, so I'm not going to click on anything that has to do with industrial craft. And, of course, that means I'm going to have to look up things separately online. However, what I do want to make are some solar panels. And, again, I'm not going to click on it, but I do know how to make them. So, it's glass, glass, glass. I believe it is circuit, circuit. And then, in the middle, it's redstone and three pieces of coal dust. And, of course, circuits are very expensive which is really annoying i wish they weren't so expensive but luckily i do now have an infinite supply of the gum stuff so actually well actually i will show you what i mean so you know this sticky resin right well the sticky resin when extracted becomes the goo ah, stupid sound see if i just turn at this angle it just stops being loud i don't know why <laughs> it's maybe a setting i changed by accident but as you can see, the extractor, actually I should probably power this or something. Eh, I guess it's too late. So I'm gonna just throw this in here, just so it'll finish. There you go, so now rubber, what we do, actually I'm not sure if you can even target rubber. No, you can't. You can, however, target sticky resin. So if I even just throw in like one piece of that, actually, no, I think it's more expensive than that. How expensive is it? Or maybe it's even less expensive than that. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's less expensive than that. And that's why I can't target it. So let's actually get out a piece because I know I've targeted it before. And we're gonna run over here. And let's see. It yep. It is. Oh, it's only 24. That is awesome. So that means for 24, I'll I just throw in whatever the heck I want. So I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of these. And of course we're gonna go extract it in the extractor. And we're going to just oh. Uh, Hello, sheep. Why are you in my house? Get out of my house, please. I'm not comfortable with visitors. And now, I believe I believe I have enough to make one circuit. Yes, I do. So once again, it is the cooked redstone. Ah, see, I, I hate it when you don't have solar panels and therefore you don't have power for all your machines. And that means, of course, you have to get coal to power the generator, which then powers the other machines. It's a long process, but I'm going to do that right now. Okay, guys, I don't know what... Oh, whoa, whoa, what are these? What are these things? Do you know what these are? I have absolutely no idea. Whoa. Hello. Hello, little guy. No, come here. Come here. Oh, dang it. Do I have to use, like, a bucket to catch it? Where is it? Come here, little bastard. Bucket. Bucket. Well, come back here. I'm gonna guess this is Thumbcraft. Thumbcraft switchery. Come back here. Do I have to make a net? Maybe use a net? No, there's not a net. Maybe uh, the war farm magnetizer, void bracelet. No, that's probably not it. Uh, bucket, the catching, catch, catch something. Ah, I don't know. You guys know how to catch these things? They're so pretty, and I just want to catch it. Yes. So, guys, if you know what the heck these things are, because I am a noob with Thomcraft and. There's quite a few mods I'm using. Well, please, 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 please tell me. And actually, I think I, I, I'm i going to go ahead and start making the logistics pipes, which I believe are made... Oh, dang, I need more diamonds. Darn it. Okay, I'm going to need one, two more diamonds. Okay. Oh, got some lag right there. Let's see. We're going to throw these suckers in. Okay, that, that noise is... Oh, it's taunting me. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw these around like that. I'm actually going to need some redstone torches, which I only have one of for some reason. And I apparently didn't even learn it. There we go. Target that. One more. And there we go. Awesome. More lag. And simply place these like that. 
And I also believe it is... Oh, wow, how did I forget that? I need more glass. Okay, so we're just gonna get... I think it's just one more piece of glass. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw that there. Four like that, two like that, those two like that, and then finally a diamond pipe. That creates a logistic pipe. Now these logistics pipes are the basic for just about everything in Buildcraft. I mean, well, in the newer versions. Or no, sorry, in logistics pipes. Wow, that is a fail. It's an add-on to Buildcraft that lets me basically... Okay, just shut up, shut up, wherever you are. But what you can do is actually recall items. So I'm just going to throw it right there. But I can't recall items with this one. So either I have to make A, so let's just look up logistic. Oh cool, there's chassis. I'm try okay, well, I can either make a logistic basic one, which is used for routing items, and then there's the request one, which is basically you can ask for items and the provider just takes them from chests or whatever. And then there's the crafting logistics pipes. And the satellite logistics pipes. I'm still wondering what the satellite does. It apparently, its uses are depositing non-stackable materials to an adjacent chest with for crafting, with tra crafting logistics pipes. So these guys right here. And automatic crafting tables. It also provides fuel for crafting operation with some machines and it routes. All of these machines route, but this one, that's the only thing it does. And what I want to make instead of any of these is actually make a requester request. No, wait, that's not it. Sorry. It's actually a remote orderer. That's what it's called. So basically with the remote remote orderer, you can actually, <laughs> yeah, two diamond gears and four glass. Oh, that is very, very expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and start making. Actually, I don't believe I have any glass. Oh, there you go. So glass luckily costs one. Just gonna throw in three more. There we go. That, that's enough glass. And as you can see, we, I have plenty of diamond gears. I actually think I made too many. Yeah, I made definitely made too many. So we're just gonna go ahead and make the requester. And also, we can make a. If we can find where I put the logistics pipes. What we can also do. Wait, where are they? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So now, what we can do. Logistics pipes. If we make the, re I believe it's the provider, it's just one piece of glowstone and a logistic pipe. And you may be thinking, well, that's really cheap. Well, the reason why it's so cheap is because you're going to need to make a lot of them. While you may only need a couple requesters, just like you just need this requester right here, and you just request items, which I can't request any right now. But as soon as we get a, oh, cool, plenty of. Pumpkins. I love how pumpkins just give me an infinite amount of everything. It is so, so nice. I'm just going to throw that in there. There we go. And now what we're going to do is actually... Assuming, of course... Oh, that's weird. Dark matter. I don't remember having that. Okay, well... What? And Oh, I have mar red matter as well. Awesome. Okay, I didn't... I didn't even know I had this stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. Okay. Focus, Luke. Focus. Now, what we're going to do is make the requester one. So I'm going to need some glowstone, which it doesn't look like I have any of. And I think... There you go. Okay. So I'm just going to actually throw that in there. It's a Klein Star. And just get a couple of them. Actually, I don't even think I need that many, but whatever. And what we're going to do now is, of course, just throw that on top of a logistic pipe. And you can see that it makes a provider. And I'm pretty sure the provider, if I can just check real quick... Okay, yeah, provider... Provides item for the network from an adjacent inventory. So, yeah, exactly what it does. And actually, the cool thing is I'm going to just make two more. Just so I can have tons of chests. And also, what I can do is with two pieces of glowstone around a logistics roof. Shut up, little blinky light things. I have no idea how to catch you. And you can see we have a crafting logistics pipe. So this, when an item goes through it, you can actually set it to craft whatever you want. So if I were to place this down... In between, let's say... Mm, wait, I'll be right back. Okay, so, sorry about that. Here is the gist of it. If I place a provider crafting thing down... Let's just say a little chest down here that I have placed. Just gonna throw it... Um, somewhere probably out of the way would probably be best. 
And I love how no matter what item I'm on, it'll actually switch to the preferential item. So, <laughs> yep, just like that. Okay, well, I did not mean to do that. Oh, well. And let's get rid of back here. And I'll just throw that sucker right there. And now with these logistics pipes, and I might as well just throw one right here as well. I'm pretty dang sure that I can actually request certain items, or actually whatever item I want. And I'm just going to search through this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I found the chest. I'm just going to throw all this stuff in real quick. Do, 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 do. And now, what the cool thing is, is that if I place a logistics pipe anywhere in the world, which I'm actually think I think I'm just going to leave it where it currently is, so upstairs, so I don't have to come downstairs. And if I use this request item thing that I always see Dire Wolf with, I can actually, I believe I can request certain items. Let me, let me just check to make sure that everything's right down here. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe, I'm going to guess that maybe they actually have to be connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect with some wireless ones. So we're going to just throw down some wireless item teleport pipes. I'll just put it right there. Put it right there as well. And put it right there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to right click. I'm going to set it to frequency whatever one doesn't have any connected. So 4. And set this one to 4. Four, and then lastly, we're going to connect this one up here, of course, to four, but make this can receive to true. So we're going to just right click that. Oops, wait. There we go. Set that to four. And as you can see, when I right click it, wait, give me a sec. Okay, well, can receive true, and it's not. Oh, wait, <laughs> I realized that I'm not holding the request thing. Problem solved. And unfortunately, it does not seem to be working. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to figure this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what I did, but I right-clicked the other ones down there, and it, I guess, worked now. So, as you can see, I can actually request a certain number. And, if, like, actually, I don't even have to refresh it. But the cool thing is, if I want to get some, say, iron, or, yeah, actually, let's get some... Hmm. What do I have in my inventory that I... Okay, well, hmm, such a tough choice. I'll just request some tin. No, oh, silver, okay. I, I'll guess I get tin. So I'm going to request as many as it has, so 21. And if I request that, it will actually start blanking them out just like that. Pretty awesome. And right now, it's just throwing them down on the floor. But if you set it to do something else, well, actually... I think what Direwolf had was he had a pipe that pumped him out. So I'm gonna, what you can do is just make a little hole in the wall and then have the pipe pump it out. So basically this is probably one of the neatest add-ons for a mod that I've seen as of yet. And I hope to use it quite a bit in the future. And actually right now I want to get started working on some other things. And actually, I'm going to show you guys how this is doing, the, the, the thing over there is doing. Okay, so over here, as you can see, this thing is pumping in cobblestone like crazy. However, I believe I've only received one or maybe two diamonds from this thing. So, in actuality, I don't think this miner is near as good as it was in 1.1. I miss the good old days. And what are those floating things? Oh, that is going to kill me. And there's a purple, flirty, purple. Hello, purple. Can I help you? Oh, oh, he hurts. Okay, he definitely hurts. Oh, he makes little, mini, mini flirple guys. Oh, God, he can't hit him. Oh, God, flirple. Get away, flirple. Get away. Oh, okay. Whew. That was a close one. What in the world was that thing? Okay, guys, I'm just such a noob at Thumbcraft, so obviously I have no idea what... Okay, I'm going to hit that thing. I'm just... Oh, come back here. Come back here. Where are you, you little devil? Come back here. Come back. No, no, what? No. Is he just, like, leading me on? <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. He hits you. He hits you back. Oh, God. Oh, God. He hits you back. Oh, God. Oh god. Okay. Oh. oh. Okay. I think I'm safe for now. Oh. My bad. I did not know that would happen. Oh boy. Does he still hit me? But he does. But he's still enraged. Oh god. I'm so screwed. 
Yeah, oh, I need a sword. Where's my sword? Do I have any swords in here? Request, request, request. Oh no, I don't have a sword. Oh, no, no, oh no. Guys, I'm so screwed. Okay, let's see. Sword, 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 sword. Man, you guys are probably like laughing at me like, oh my gosh, he's such a noob. That little thing can't do anything. Actually, wait, I only need one, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay, whew. Sword. Diamond sword. Um, can I want to make a dark matter one? No, you can't even make a dark matter one. Okay. I totally forgot how to make dark matter weapons, but whatever. Here, come back here, little bastard. You're going down. You're going down, son. Unless he's... Oh, oh, he's still... He's still firing. He's still firing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Whew. Dang, that little sucker can fight. Oh. And apparently he causes slowness. <laughs> wow, that that little sucker can do some damage. <laughs> Especially if you don't have... Let's see, where, where are you? Come back. Come a little lower. Come on. Come on. Wait, be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Oh, okay, so I hope I can do this. Where, where's the little devil? There you are, you little demon. Oh, get back. Oh, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, okay. Whew. Why is my headphone not saying in my ear? Okay, there you go. Where is he? Oh, he is right there. There you are, you little devil. Oh, he's just like stinging me. <laughs> and he's like this beautiful music and then just this devilish little creature. Yes, I know you guys are probably like, no, why did you attack him, you idiot? And yeah, I don't know why I attacked him. Mostly because I just want to see what would happen. So I'm going to try going in the roof. <laughs> oh, there you are, you little bastard. Come back here. Come back. Okay, well, I'm guessing that it's, like, impossible to get near him. Okay, no. Ah, and he also pushes you back, which is very annoying. Don't freaking uh, die. Die, you little demon. Yeah, he does not like people. And he's hitting me, like, from all the way over here. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, there he is. Come on, just a little lower. Damn you! Damn you! Why am I not hitting him? Okay, guys, yeah, I think I totally just started a war, and I should probably just run away and get as far away from him as I can and hope for the better. Yeah, that was really dumb move on my part, I know. He's probably just laughing at me. Okay, really, what are those things? Are they all going to attack me? I, I hope not. Oh. Okay, well, they're, lag they're lagging my game. Okay, I'm just going to just gonna run away and hope for the better. Okay, so it appears that the thing that was following me was is now gone. And apparently it is a... I'm pretty sure it's a wisp. It's apparently a vis crystal that it has attained the life of its own. Yeah, so it says they are best avoided unless you are seeking an alternative, so alternative source of vis crystal. So I'm just going to walk up to this guy. Okay, good. Whew. So I'm guessing that they gave up when I ran away or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But whatever. I'm not going to complain. Not complaining. Okay, there we go. That's nice and finished, I guess. And now, of course, we are pretty I think we're getting pretty far in this game if you if I say so myself and unfortunately oh that's weird I, I swear I remember to hmm maybe I used a dark matter a red matter I, I think I used a red matter that's probably why it's gone okay whatever and the cool thing is I'm pretty sure I can also send an item out if I'm not mistaken I I um a provider, provider, okay, provider provides, logistic pipe, recipes, I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to get an item out of the inventory, so I'm guessing that this is so you can request items, but I don't know what you can do after that, so it's provider, crafting, satellite, supplier, hmm, interesting, okay, whatever, wait, supplier, Okay, whatever. So, what I want to do is actually show you guys how this works, basically. So, 
The satellite logistics... Oh, actually, I'll start with the crafting one. So the crafting one, which I believe I did make a crafting one. I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. Okay, so a crafting logistic pipe will actually... Probably not those... Okay, whatever. A crafting logistics pipe when placed in between pipes. So I'm going to just try something out. I'm going to put some cobblestone pipes just like this. And I'm going to put... Actually, wait, I have an idea. I'm going to have a... I'm going to have this request to here, and I'm going to have it pump items into the crafting logistic pipe. So we're going to have that there. And then after that, we're going to just pump into a chest. And I'm going to throw down... Eh, what the heck, I might as well just get another. See, I like how with this transmutation table, I can just request one. So that's... I'm going to basically request. I'm just going to throw that in. Get myself another alchemical chest, just like that. Okay, we're just gonna throw this down right here. And yeah, sorry about that. And I'm gonna just try something. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do something really simple. Oh, okay, well, that, that works. So apparently you can turn any kind into a requester. But what I want to do is, oops. I, what I want to do is try to, I'm not exactly, you know, I'm not even sure how this works. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna check this out real quick. Okay, so I discovered it apparently requires machines to run this, and I'm not sure exactly what it means by machines, but I'll, I'll have to do a little research. I'm going to try something. I'm going to try placing this right next to... And as you can see, actually, I'm pretty sure you just saw that. When I place this here, the lights light up, so that means that they're connected and the items will move. So I'm going to just... Yeah, see, there's no light, so I'm going to guess that you can only put... I'm no, I'm still not sure. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research into this. So, don't, don't get really mad at me for not knowing exactly because I just got these mods. I promise you, these are really new. And what I want to do next is actually start getting into railcraft. And the first thing we're gonna make is a, I believe it's a crowbar. So we're gonna make a crowbar. That's simply iron with rose red. So of course, rose red is simply made with roses, and I don't know if I have any roses. Let me check my request table, see if I have any in here. And it looks like I have one, so I'm going to request that sucker. And as you can see, it pumps out of the bottom. And pretty. <laughs> That's basically all it does. So I'm just going to go ahead and link this to... Hmm, I'm torn. I'm really torn. I'll just leave it like this so the item just pumps out. Actually, you know what? I have a brilliant idea. There we go, nice. So now the item pumps out from there and I'm gonna just try it again. So we're gonna refresh that, to make sure it's working. And we're gonna request, uh, I'll just request something that's pretty, pretty mm, juvenile. I'll just take these four. So one, two, three, four, request. And as you can see, it does work pretty awesome. Basically, this just lets you do everything you ever wanted to do and then some. And what we're going to do now is actually clone a rose red. So I'm going to learn it. And we're going to clone that with a Klein star. And of course, the roses each make two rose red. So luckily, we don't have to worry about that. And I might as well learn every color. Oops. There you go. So I think what I need to do soon is learn every color in the transmutation table. So once again, the crowbar is made with... Four rose red and some iron, which it doesn't look like I have any iron, so I'm just going to throw that in there and take three iron. Bam, just like that. And I love how the transmutation table lets you do that. I don't think many other mods will let you do that. Oh, well, the red power, if you put in iron, like things like buckets, fences, it'll actually smelt it back into iron, which is pretty neat. I'm pretty sure I did that last season, so I don't need to show you guys. And now with the crowbar, we can actually go ahead and start making some rails. And the rails, so let's see, rail, which one should we make? Hmm, elevator rail, suspended rail, oh my gosh, high speed booster, huh, wow. Powered rail, one ray rail, wooden junction rail. Well, apparently there's a different way to make rails now. So I can make a wooden rail bed and then rails. So rail bed is made with ties, which are made with that, plus credit crease sot oil which i have absolutely no idea where that is from so we're gonna have to figure that out oh my gosh i feel like such a noob guys i'm so sorry about this so let's see 
the thyme the oil. Let's just look it up. Oil. Oh, crease creo creosote. Okay, creosote oil is made from. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. So prior to it, it was made by cooking full in a f coal in a furnace. So apparently, you have to extract it from coal or wood. Okay, that's pretty. It's not too hard. So you have to make a coke oven. So, and a dog is barking. So let's see, coke oven. And oh, okay. Which is basically so it's a free byproduct of cooking coal. Or wood. So what we need to do is make multiple ovens, and these are made with. Oh wow, that is so weird. Okay. So it's, I believe it's just brick, 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 and then it is sand, 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 sand. That is so weird. Oh my gosh, this is such a weird mod. Everything about this, this new world is so weird. But I hope you guys are still liking the new world at least somewhat. Maybe. You guys don't hate it as bad as, well, you didn't hate the last world, I hope. Okay, I'm going to go figure this out to be right back. Okay, guys, to make these Coke oven bricks, what we're going to need to do is just throw in, I believe it's just some sand, so I'm going to go ahead and request some sand, because this thing is absolutely amazing. I think we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, and this will just take a second. There we go. Nice. That was pretty dang fast. Uh, it always seems so slow in, in, I'm pretty sure, oh my god, I f hate how I forget his name. In Dire Wolf's videos, it always seems so slow, I don't know why. And as you can see here, we have our Coke Oven Bricks. And what this is, when we place it down, it just makes a brick like that, pick it up, and then once again, it looks like a rail. And apparently you need 26 of these bricks, because you're going to need to make a square thing, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to... I want to see if I can't target. No, I cannot. So what we're going to need to do is get a whole bunch of sand. And I'm just going to throw that in there so I can target sand right now. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to need basically... Okay, so it says I need 130 sand. Okay, so that is a full two stacks and two more. Okay, so one, two, and then one more. Awesome. And also, we're going to need 26 of their special bricks. And I have no idea. I'm pretty sure... Let me try something. I want to try targeting. If I can find it. Actually, I believe I do, in fact... Wow, that was a fail. I do, in fact, have some dirt in here. Or maybe not. Well, this is a major fail, guys. Sorry. I'm going to go find it real... Oh, it's night again. I'm going to find it real quick. Okay, here we go. So, oh, I'm trying to talk over the sound of those really annoying little bastards there. The little bingy little creature things. And we're just going to go ahead and, of course, I placed them in the wrong place. We're going to try to do this right. And, of course, I screw up everything once again. Whatever, I'll try to do this as best as I can with the resources that I have. So, as you can see, I'm just going to split all these up. And I'm going to try to get as many of these little brick things that as I can. And it apparently requires a full 104 clay, so I made way too many for that, and 130 sand to make 26 of those tokes and, I mean, the coke oven bricks, which I do, oh, hello. You're in the wrong place, buddy. Aww. They're so cute, I don't want to attack them anymore. <laughs> okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it, um, I think I'm going to build it to where I had that previous place over there, where I was going to place the snow golem, but the snow golem got owned by some creepers and some skeletons, and yeah. Story of my life. And what we're going to do is just get rid of this entire area, and what we're going to do is place it down. I'm pretty sure it's a 3 by 3 by 3 block with the middle open, so... She's gonna place that there, there, there. And lastly, just two more. Bam, just like that. And as you can see, it makes this little oven thing, and if you can actually cook coal. So you can use coal to cook coal. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure. So you have to it's may have a hundred it's may have twenty-six special bricks. If broken down. 
when building a coke oven, you'll know it's complete when it appears in the middle block of each side. And they cannot be built adjacent to each other. There must be one tile in between. It takes three minutes to convert one coal into coke. Wow. <laughs> And apparently it makes the byproduct of the fuel, of the little gas stuff, so, the, oh, sorry, not the gas, the oil. So it makes a byproduct of oil, which is then used for rails and everything. So basically this is a very, very long process, and I'll be back once this is done, doing some other things in the meantime. So as you can see, I'm doing a little experiment, and I'm just throwing in whatever the heck I want, into this little obsidian pipe that I set up over here. And what I'm doing with this is I'm going to try to see if I can actually request it later. So I'm gonna just wait a couple seconds <clears throat> and we're gonna refresh this and it doesn't look like anything's changed. But I wanna see if, okay, yes, it doesn't look like it's worked. So apparently those items either completely disappeared or they are somewhere in the other chest. So let's go check. So, I, I'm such a noob with this, I, I don't know if you have to like change this and make sure that's there or something like that every time. I'm gonna try checking each, oh, okay, it looks like it got, it just fell out, so I'm gonna guess that it cannot go through these pipes, so that does make sense. Okay, just, just making sure, just making sure. But that's still pretty cool nonetheless. And actually what I can do is, as you can see, this, oh, well, I right click this and this is set to frequency one so I can just go ahead and run up here and set once uh, yet again another teleport pipe to frequency one and let's go ahead and try that oh it looks like I don't have any and okay there we go so we're just gonna throw this right here get rid of those set that to frequency one and now it's set to camera C false so nothing can be sent to it and I'm going to try pumping in these items. So I'm just going to throw that there. I'm going to throw these in there. So I, this is really just a test. Mostly to see if it'll work by pumping in items reversely. And then trying to get them back out this way. So I'm going to refresh this. And as you can see, the number is increasing for the... Ah, these. The bricks. I really don't know how I just forget what they're called, but whatever. So as you can see, I just threw in 26 bricks. And there are 26 bricks. And once again, my puppy's name is being mentioned. So I believe this episode is now over. And once again, I need you guys to help me with this because I'm such such a noob. Actually, wait, let's go check this out. <laughs> and once, oh man, it's kind of actually re getting really annoying that my family's talking so loud. But as you can see, we have a coal coke. I'm not sure if you can, no, you definitely cannot throw it back in again. But you can actually just throw in a whole bunch of coal. And coal coke can actually be used in any machine you want. So if I want to, I can go ahead and throw it into one of these machines. And I'm pretty sure it lasts something like twice as long as regular coal. So if you get a whole bunch of coal and you turn it to coal coke, it has a heat content of 3200. So yes, it is double the amount. So if I just, just throw this in, it'll last two times the amount of coal for sacrificing four of them into this one. Pretty awesome. Yes, this is Luke. You have indeed been watching OPK Gaming, and I hope you all have a very, very nice day.